Let's go back to another episode of Two Idiot Girls. Ooh. What? Did you hear that? <laughs> we have our first in-person guest. Hello. Welcome to the pod, guest. Hi. Drew, intro our guest. He can introduce himself. <laughs> our first guest is Peely Tanuvasa. Yeah. The one and only. Ooh. The one and only. Hello. I, I've seen some people comment, why do you call him Billy if his name's Peely? Would you care, care to, to elaborate? Comment? So... <laughs> For a <laughs> to our special guest, don't look at me. Uh, so for a very long time, I went by Billy because that's what Peely is translated to English. Mm -hmm. um, but then I decided that Peely is not a really hard name to say, and I would prefer to go by that. So I decided to rebrand as Peely <laughs> and save Billy for the people that I hold closest to me. Yeah, Billy's Ooh. more of a nickname, and I've kind of talked about that already. Like we call him Billy because it's like it's almost like a. It's a intimate family and friends like nickname. nickname. Yeah. So like he lets those closest to him call him Billy. Um, but other than that, like other I think the only other person well, like Carlo and Finito call you Peely. Yeah. Because Carlo has said from the day he met us, he's like, You're not a Billy. That's, that makes no sense. That's just respect for the name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. correct um, me if I'm wrong, too. He said if any of you call him Billy, he's gonna knock you out like immediately. <laughs> he I I said that. That's what he said. I yeah. personally said he's that. He's gonna launch you into space. <laughs> and I've always said that. And, and I've always, and I've always <laughs> said that. Wait, hold on. Before we started recording, yeah, I was Telling Dason, where's that from? Which oh, yeah. I do all the time. Okay, the audience can guess too. Because okay? I don't know. What I need this, but I do it. Just do this it, is the quote. Okay. Turn down the mic. <laughs> Nobody knows that. You don't. I wasn't asking Billy. <laughs> See, the thing about Billy is he didn't watch anything that the rest of us watched growing yeah. up, and he's like, I think you're the weird one, and I was like, wrong. You're the weird one. Have you ever seen that trend on like Letterboxd where people describe movies terribly and then you have to guess like what movie it is? No, I've never seen it, but that's funny. Well, I've seen that with um comments, like reviews of yeah. movies. Yeah, that's what Letterboxd is. Oh, so people okay. review movies and they're like, yes, yes, you yes. Know, I didn't know it was on Letterboxd. A kid like held two people ransom and he's talking about Home Alone. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's how Billy describes movies to Jira. That's thought, true. Like, I thought so and so is in this one, right? I do okay. my best. Yeah. Back, back to my quote. <laughs> okay. That's it. Turn down the mic. Yeah. Turn down the mic. Where's it from? <laughs> Audience. Wait, give me a hint. It was a movie we watched and loved <laughs> as kids. That could be. Is it a cartoon? No, it was a TV show turned into a movie. Thoughts? Like, but not a cartoon. It's like with actual humans. Yes, in it? yes. Like, is it Lizzie McGuire? Yes, yes. Oh, it is. Okay, the Lizzie, Lizzie McGuire movie. Yes, do you remember the part? No. Okay, so you know how she plays her own twin and she has a terrible Italian accent? Yes. Yeah, so like when she when she cuts <laughs> she cuts Lizzie's mic because she's singing for her. Yeah. She goes, turn down Isabella's mic. Oh, yeah. And then he goes, what? And then she goes, turn down the mic. <laughs> That's what she says. <laughs> I Watch, didn't know that. Look up the clip. I sounded just <laughs> like her. <laughs> It was just like starstruck. Which is like friends, <laughs> privacy. I sounded just like her. I could play every white girl in the early like she 2000s. was in this room for a second. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, that so. one always gets me. <laughs> you did that. Anyways, I made that joke. <laughs> That's you. Anyways, I made that joke because Billy's mic was too high, so I was like, turn down the mic. Anyways, was was that worth it? That's what we call a cold that? open. <laughs> Maybe when you when you're in comedy a little longer, you'll get it. You're right. <laughs> you wouldn't know that. You so. wouldn't get it. He's a rookie, so <laughs> it is his first pod. It is his so. well, first time. I remember my first pod. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have asked if Billy was ever going to come on the comment section, to which I've always said no. That's like his idea of a nightmare. Am I right? It's it's a pretty hard night. confirm <laughs> confirm to the audience because yeah. sometimes I think they think I'm I'm like withholding you from <laughs> no, stardom. No, see, like, let him try it. <laughs> yeah. See, even this is kind of a safe space, but knowing that there's going to be other people on the end, I'm like, eh, it's not the best. But the I comment know. section, hundred percent now. The the comment section is see a lot of you think it's it's like this where it's like homey vibes. Um, it's not. It's like me, not a guest I just met that day, and then there's like 10 or 12 people on the crew who all stand and watch me do it. 
and um, they can't laugh out loud because it's a podcast, so it will fuck with the audio. Yeah. So it's just like you telling jokes, and it's almost like you have the worst crowd. That's what it feels like when you film them. <laughs> but you guys don't see that, obviously. You just yeah. see the, the, the benefits of it. Dason comes with me to my show every time I film, so... Yeah. She knows. She gets it. I get the vibes. Yeah, yeah she gets the vibes. So anyways, yeah. that's why he he would thrive here in this environment. But so I think as this far is as it where, goes. Yeah, this is where the off wall of cinematic universe will live. So duh. So, it yeah. won't be on the You guys have been show. requesting Billy. You've been requesting Adam. I really want to see Adam. Which on. good luck getting him on here. I think after this one we will, guys. I'm Maybe. Working, I'm working really hard. Hell Let's yeah. manifest together, but Adam is so not cool like he's just like nah like every time we bring it up he's yeah. like this is exactly what he says he goes ew no yeah that's, that's what, what he, he says he texts me that <laughs> and donnie yeah donnie's been highly we'll get requested donnie on this summer yeah so oh, this is the our start parents will our parents yeah. yeah this is the start of our journey down down phase one of the off wall of cinematic here we go, right here. this is phase one are you really gonna have donnie on yeah oh, hell yeah man, i can't wait we should have Don we're gonna have donnie on and we're gonna have him recreate for you guys the His stand up routine act, yeah that's one of billy's core memories too I've, i'll never forget that yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, that's why i think people are so invested in it but that's why it works better here yeah i think i agree this much more where, cash yes absolutely oh. How's your week going so far? It's Sunday. You know? <laughs> That's how I feel too. It's been rough. I'm so sick of the weather. Yeah. I'm same. so tired. Like on Friday, it was so nice because it was hot as shit outside. I know. And I was like, yes. And then it got fucking freezing at I night. I know. Billy hates the rain too. We're inside and I'm in a beanie. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm that's that's our, that's our, uh, what do you call it? Our ancestors. I know. <laughs> Calling to it. us. Yeah. Well, that's why every time people talk about, oh, like, you know what's so funny? Me and Billy were at Disneyland the other day, remember? And we were sitting and it was so fucking cold. Like, we were waiting for our car, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and then I told Billy, I go, see, this is why, like, when people say, would you rather be burned alive or die of, like, frostbite? I would rather be burned alive. You guys would rather be burned alive? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, give me yeah, the. Yeah, it's gonna be faster. I think. Easily. I feel like frostbite would, would take a long time for you to die. What do you think, babe? Yeah, I don't want to think about it. I feel like with frostbite, I would have to think about how I'm I know. slowly dying. Your brain would be on for way too long. Yeah. Like, oh, I just okay. think like that's my worst. I hate being cold. I will take sweating over being cold yeah, any day. I agree. And I'm like a sweaty ass yeah. bitch, and I don't care. Like yeah. I would rather be dripping sweat than uh, be like shivering because I'm so I cold. Agree. That's why I don't get why people like going to the snow. Same. Same. Big it's, same. It's white people shit. White people shit. That's what that when is. We went, we went to the snow uh, around Thanksgiving. Yeah. And we were sitting there at that like bar thing and watching all the whites. I feel like I was at a zoo watching a, people in their enclosure. It's a different universe. <laughs> that was their enrichment That's time. That's their yeah. culture. Yeah. I'm observing white culture. I'm like, I mean, I get it kind of, but like, and then I got sunburned. How does that work? And I was sweating balls yeah, too. You almost I like, passed out. Yeah. I did almost pass out. Oh my out. god! Yeah, Remember? that was terrible. Yeah. So I was telling Billy, I think I'm gonna pass out. And every time I do that, <laughs> Billy goes, "You're fine," because I'm like, because yeah. I'm like, like, a baby, a like, like, it, like if you give in to like a baby crying <laughs> yeah. and, you, and you make it seem like a big deal, they yeah, cry I more. Agree, That's one hundred percent you. He does that for me, and I do that for Dason. That's the food chain. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's the chain of command. <laughs> my mom does it for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the chain of command. Yeah. Honestly. But yeah, fuck the snow. I was telling him like, you know, those movies when they're like people who like climb Everest and they never make it back down. Yeah. That's my worst nightmare. And they're I doing think... it willingly. That's crazy. Like for fun. Yeah. It's for fun. <laughs> Nobody paid them to do that. No, I literally. Why? I don't know. Literally. Why? That's why when people are like, oh, you would rather you could always bundle up in the cold. I'm like, no, you can't. Yeah. Sometimes you could have seven layers and you're still cold. What the hell is that? I know, and if you're just hot, you're hot. Yeah, if you're hot, then whatever. I just would much rather sweat. I feel like it's easier to accept when you're hot than when you're cold. Yeah. <laughs> One time when we were kids, I, we, me and Daisy, like, we grew up, we didn't grow up with money. So, like, we used to live in houses with no air, obviously. And, you know, big box fan, sleep in front of it, kind of thing, kind of vibes. And, you uh, hang, like, a cold paper towel on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> or lay on the tile. That's what we would do. Yeah. <laughs> like dogs. <laughs> yeah. Like a bulldog. Yeah. Um, but me and Dace, one time we were saying, she was like, it's so hot. And then I told her, I was like, if you just sit really still, then you'll get, then you like pass the wall and then you're not hot anymore. You're not hot anymore. It's like you're numb. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't get any hotter, <laughs> which is nice. Yeah. That's fair. You want to know something? I saw a funny TikTok this morning and it was this guy and he was talking about how, um, he's like, 
if you didn't grow up with money, there are certain things that you will forever do. And people who did grow up with money will never understand. Okay. Right. He's all like, for example, uh, he said he had a girl at his house and he has lotion and she's like, can I have some of your lotion? And he's like, yeah. So she's pumping and there's nothing. And then she goes, Oh, you're all out of lotion. He goes, no, you're not. And then he said, you take it out and you just go bah, bah, like mm-hmm. to like shake Shampoo, it off. Lotion, and then yeah. she goes, why don't you just get new lotion? And he goes, I haven't even cut that bottle open yet. So <laughs> I'm not out of lotion. And I, I was like, I 100% subscribe to cutting the bottle. Yeah, open. we know. <laughs> that's why we, she brought I, it up. I, I, that's my point. <laughs> Okay, so I was like, wow, I can't believe you feel I that do way. I that too. Yeah. It's so nice to see yourself represented <laughs> yeah, yeah. in media. But you know what's funny is, well, first of all, we've all, we've all done that because none of us grew up with money. But uh, Billy's like... Not cutting the, the bottle open. That's just I've done that before. Okay. I've, I've okay. cut the bottle open, but like him, it's almost like he does it for fun. Like I don't... Anyways, when we moved out of my parents' house... My sister said when they were helping clean up, there was like a graveyard of cut open lotion bottles because that's just what he would do every single time. It was time. like like remains, like bones Gra- left behind. <laughs> graveyard feels uh, that feels over the top. That <laughs> she feels said like it's uh, a, like it's we're a exaggerating. Graveyard. <laughs> It's like it's a bloodbath, it's a catastrophe. I didn't waste a single fucking <laughs> no, single not ounce of one lotion. One thing about me, lotion. I'm not gonna waste uh, any yeah, lotion. Yeah. I feel that though. That's why I'm like, we used to, we did that all the time. I've cut the bottle open before. I wasn't yeah. proud of it, but sure. I have done it. One time I used a knife because I didn't couldn't a find knife. my scissors. Yeah. A knife. One time I used one of those because I couldn't find my scissors. Anyways, my week's been going good. <laughs> I know. We have a really busy week ahead of us, guys. We Ooh. sure do. We sure yeah. do. I'm not even. A, I don't even think I'm allowed to talk about it. No, I don't. But think I got so some. I got a big, big, big event ahead of me. Stop. <laughs> Wish I could tell you. But... Wish you guys could know, but you can't. Ugh. You'll find out this week. Yeah, it's huge. It's pretty cool. It's very cool. Not as cool though as having Billy on the pod. That's I'll tell what you what I'm that. saying. You're damn right, brother. <laughs> All right, friends, we're going to take a quick little ad break with our friends at HelloFresh. So with HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Get HelloFresh and skip that extra trip to the grocery store and the long checkout lines. Spend more time doing the things you love with delicious chef-crafted recipes delivered to your doorstep. No matter your lifestyle or meal preferences, HelloFresh has recipes sure to please everyone at your table from fit and wholesome to veggie or family friendly you'll always find something even the pickiest eaters will enjoy so i personally love HelloFresh. it's super easy i get the vegetarian meals and just pull up the dairy or if there's eggs involved i don't really use those parts because i'm vegan but it's super easy and i'm still able to eat it um i couldn't believe that it literally had all of the instructions in there and it took no less than like 30 ish minutes, and I was super surprised because cooking is not something that I'm really good at, but HelloFresh makes me think I'm really good at cooking. So, Make sure you go to HelloFresh.com slash 2IdiotGirls65 and use code 2IdiotGirls65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's go to HelloFresh.com slash 2IdiotGirls65 and use code 2IdiotGirls65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Hello Fresh, America's number one meal. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. So we're gonna get straight into these restaurant hot takes. Yes. This was uh, suggested by one of you. I don't remember which one of you, but great job. Thank you for sending it to <laughs> us. Yeah. And uh, we're super excited to be doing this one with Billy because he. One thing about him, he's gonna he's gonna watch a restaurant TikTok. Yeah. That's hundred percent true. He's gonna eat I'll watch out. all the way through. Well, he's also like he's a foodie, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that makes me not want to talk anymore. <laughs> Fucking foodie. I'm gonna name it Peely the Foodie. <laughs> yeah, please do. Not clickbait. Not, Not clickbait. Yeah. Uh, he he's been exposed for being a foodie. Not clickbait. <laughs> he said he loves fitness, but I think he loves food. The question mark. It's true. The two which, Fs. Yeah. Which then works. It it's almost like it works perfectly in tandem because you are in fitness. So that's a good thing. Yeah. 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 He's a big proponent of eating and eating good. Yes. Uh, one thing about me is I do love to eat good. Yes. And it's uh, something, too. He loves. Um, Let's clarify. When I say good, I mean like things that taste good, not like fucking 
chicken and rice. Like, yeah, yeah. Things exactly. that are enjoyable to yeah. eat. Like yeah, like yummy fucking food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like good, good food. Yeah, let's clarify that. Yeah. We've quoted Billy before saying that his favorite TikToker is soy, food with soy. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, she's she's true. like top five. And I've always I said love that. Soy. Thousand percent. And yeah. I've always said that. Yeah. I love soy. Oh my god. So comforting. We promo yeah, we promo soy all the <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, shout out soy. Soy, soy, you're the fucking hey, best. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's true. He said, like, one thing I mean, I'm gonna watch all three minutes of the video. I don't yeah, know how long it yeah. is. Soy, I 100%. always yeah. watch her video. Her, I'm gonna open it up in Instagram. Yeah. One thing about me, Soy and Emily Mariko, I'm in there, bitch. That's oh. fair. That's why I said that's one of those that I open it up so I can watch it fully on <laughs> IG Reels. Yeah. So the that's captions stupid. turn off so I can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, what was I gonna say? Oh, Billy, um, since I've like since the beginning of our relationship, he's always bookmarked restaurants and like saved things and he takes me to like the coolest most delicious restaurants in the world so he loves 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 a good meal it's true and a good tiktok about a good meal also true and when we during the pandemic too we um remember i told y'all like i've told y'all before that billy is like the chef in our relationship i don't do anything you're a liability yeah well for sure is what it is what's a passenger princess but for the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're also a passenger princess that's your choice though <laughs> he chooses to do that that's, that's true. what Jason said you're my next spouse yeah, I'm looking to be a passenger princess <laughs> what's that look like I'm in the market <laughs> Jason's like oh, my next spouse I hope they love to drive <laughs> I don't even care about their family. I'm all loves to drive. You're in there. It's the only thing you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. prefers to drive. That's like he prefers to drive, weirdo. But I think with uh, with eating, uh, Billy also loves to cook and stuff too. So he's got very strong opinions about food. I like do. Anytime we go anywhere, we're always like, Billy, where should we eat here? And he's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I already have a little list of yeah. places. Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah. I'm excited to see what these. Uh, these, these, hot takes these, these, these hot takes are. are, yeah. Yeah. I'm also hoping this will bring Guy Fieri on the podcast. If we're talking I'll about fucking show. be there. Dude, I told y'all how much Billy loves Guy Fieri. <laughs> if he sees this, my fucking guy. <laughs> Please. He go. literally was like, have you ever seen Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives? And I go. Triple D. No. And he goes, Triple D? You've never seen it? You've never gotten the let out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, we have to watch it. It's a great show. Very comforting. Great show. They always show it in hotels. For yeah, it's reason, like a whole that, that and uh, SVU. What, yeah, and yeah, 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 SVU, <laughs> friends, and the fourth Harry Potter. <laughs> Only that I one. Only I don't that think one. they play that one enough. If I'm <laughs> <honest>. <laughs> okay, so Renee has some of these restaurant hot takes. I'm not even joking. I think we have. We have, I think, 400 responses. So, crazy. again, we will not get to all of them. So, don't get mad if we don't pick yours, okay? There's going to be some craziness <laughs> in there. All right. This first one's from someone named Morgan. She said, if you don't have good bread, I'm not coming. What are I your feel thoughts? That. Okay, that's fair. What do you think? I think bread can make or break whatever dish you're using it for. I ate at Cheesecake Factory the other day. I think it's overrated. I'm not going to lie to the you. The bread there? I the think, whole experience. <laughs> I think that, <laughs> I, it's too expensive <laughs> for that type of food. Like, I, think, I like it. It's okay. But I don't get why, like, like Drake wrote a lyric into one of his songs about how much he loves the Cheesecake Factory. See, now you've crossed the line. No, because, because I, I, felt, like, I felt that line. That's, no, I thought that was fair. I, I think Cheesecake... I know you tops. do. I know you do. Tops. Cheesecake Factory is fire. And I feel like people who hate on it are vegans. <laughs> so, <laughs> people who can't eat meat. So, or they dairy. Have, they or have eggs. impossible stuff there. <laughs> well, yeah. Then, yeah, I'd hate the Cheesecake Factory, too. <laughs> I don't think their vegan options are up to par. That's true. That's but true. But if you like any pasta at all. Is that the place? If you like, have, like literally options. anything, you'll yeah. find it on Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I've been through that thing like six times. The all bread's the way all right. I'll give them that. You know, everyone likes the brown one. That one tastes nasty. I like the white no, one. No, the brown You're out of your mind. The white, the you white are hurts. outnumbered, bitch. <laughs> Those are my restaurant hunts. You're yeah. out of your mind, bitch. <laughs> the brown take. bread is the best bread. It's nice and soft. It's always warm. Hell Damn. yeah. It what I used to like only the only the white bread too. And then I grew up <laughs> and I tried the brown bread and it's Fair. fucking flames. I've seen they sell it in the store too, but I don't think it's the same. It wouldn't no. be the same. A thousand percent. Cause be they're the same. your family, you know, <laughs> cause <laughs> that's all of Gordon. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just feels like I'm a part of the family. Have you seen that? <laughs> you remember that family guy? Joke? 
when you're here, <laughs> when you're, you're here, family. Like, because that's also the slogan for the Navy. <laughs> so there's like an episode. I don't where think they... it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't, it is. A, it, it's it's like, one thousand percent no, not. That's, a joke. that's what they kept saying in there. I know, but I think me the, believing I think it. The <laughs> jo- I think the joke is that it's okay. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, in the episode, he keeps going because when you're here. Your family, and every time he says that, they go to Olive Garden and they're eating. Mm-hmm. And then the, throughout the entire episode, they keep saying they keep having to eat Olive Garden and they feel sick. And the last time he, he's about to say it, he shoots him and he goes, I'm not going back to that restaurant. Here's a hot take Olive Garden's breadsticks aren't that good. You're right. I don't think they're, they're just okay. Yeah. I think that they're good in the sense that, like, it's almost like you go under a spell when you go in there. Yeah. So it's like you're in there and you're eating it and you're like, this is delicious. But like if you had, if you took that breadstick and walked outside and ate it, it wouldn't okay. be as good. Yeah. I could see that. It's the environment. It's, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Circumstance. Yeah. Circumstance. Yeah. It's almost like it's almost like it's like hypnotizing you when you go inside. <laughs> like in Percy Jackson when they get stuck in that casino. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like literally you're inside and you're like, this is the best food I've ever eaten. But if you took that plate and walked outside, it'd be it's shit. It's not the same experience. Okay. It would be like, it would literally be like the what were those those meals called that we used to heat up for donovan all the time oh the lean, ziti it's not <laughs> lean cuisine what is it lean fast lean was it a hungry man you ever seen those <laughs> like that? i know that yeah it's like a fake little steak and yeah it's, it's what the, the most fuck disgusting is that? shit hungry man yeah yeah is it, what was that thing called the red thing it's like lean fast no that's a that's a drink. lean cuisine no because no. it was no? for grown-ups <laughs> Why is lean cuisine not for grown ups? Lean cuisine's for kids. It's not is one. It? It's the one with no. the yeah. That's lean, called no. Who's that's called kids lean? cuisine. Still, oh, kids. I think oh, it was yeah. lean cuisine. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Who's yeah. still eating those? That's fucking gross. The longer we say lean cuisine, the it more doesn't it doesn't sound, sound like, a like a real word. I was yeah. just gonna say cuisine. That. I'm that's that. enough. <laughs> hey, that's enough of that. That's have you ever it. seen how what what um, British people call eggplants? They call them aubergines. Yeah. That's not an eggplant. Aubergine is zucchini. Oh, zucchini. Sorry. Aubergine? Aubergine. What the fuck is that? Wait, no. Aubergine? I think cucumber is something else. You're right. I think it's it eggplant. It is an eggplant. Can you believe that? I think you're what making you that up. That's why they call? lost the war. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit like that is why it lost <laughs> What war? The Civil oh, yeah, War. You're right. So aubergine. The Revolutionary War? The Revolutionary War. Let's go. Right, Move guys. on. <laughs> No, they call zucchini courgette. That's what they courgette. call it. Courgette. Courgette. Well, an aubergine is then... Is I think you were right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, see? Okay. See? See how stupid that is? If Dason says it, I believe it. <laughs> okay. That's... Do you want me to look up what an aubergine is? Yeah. Okay. I think you spell it with an A, huh? Yeah. Aubergine. Yeah, it's an eggplant. No shit. Huh. Look at that. Okay. It's thanks, like thanks, Google. Someone said that. That's like the family. It's like, shocker. God gets it right. <laughs> That's me. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Nepal. Nepal. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Have you guys ever had Whataburger? No, me I don't either. think I have. I've watched TikToks about it. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Like the lore of it, but I've never oh, had look, it. Oh, look, this is a good one. Okay, this is from Jelena. This one's going to get both of them heated because I hate this restaurant too. Okay. So she wrote, Cane's is the nastiest fucking fast food place ever. <clears throat> what? The chicken tenders are dry as hell. It feels like I'm chewing on rubble. Not only do I hate crinkle cut fries, Cane's fries are crinkle cut and soggier than they normally are. The only mid part of Cane's is the Texas toast. And I say that with grace in my heart. You know what's so funny? What's her name? Yeah, I was like, Jolina. who sent this? Jolina. 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 Yeah. I'm with you, bitch. Oh, okay. I'm with you. I don't no. fuck with Cane's. He, he, if he could, he would go there and set up shop and live there. Every day. Because, <laughs> like, he How has How do a they only have one sauce? Because That's they, what they, I said. Cane's That's- does one thing so <laughs> 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 They do it so good, they don't need anything else. No. I want ranch. I'm with you, bitch. Jolina yeah. is off her rock. You're so real for that. There's no way. You're so real I for know. that. It's gross. I in, in the sense that like she's not wrong about them being dry too, because that's fucking true. False. That's T. False. I think you have been brainwashed yeah. by, by who? Big Kane. By big big chicken tender. <laughs> big big tendy. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember how excited we were that we built one by our work? Yes. And we were like, Drew's like, let's go after work. Yeah. We'll get canes. And I was eating the caramel. What the fuck is this sauce? I know. The they sauce built that one, what, like 10 minutes from here? I, I've never been more excited for a fast food chain. Oh, they're ever. building another one? No, there's one like fucking 10 the minutes one, on the, the street. One, yeah, it's it's not too far. Oh, I'll okay. tell you about yeah. it later. But yeah, 
It's like a dude. I just don't, I don't, give me more sauce. Like, give me more options. Like, I need to see, like, no. you know how people are like, can I see the wine list? That's me with the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> can I see the sauce the options, list. please? Thank you. They have ketchup. That's Gee, not a sauce. Thanks. Well, also <laughs> yeah, ketchup with tendies? What am I, nine? Yeah. That's fair. Come on, level up. Live a little. The, I, the I top think, is lovely. I Come think, join me up here. I think Jelena is uh, unequivocally wrong. <laughs> That's that's that's, that's, that's not a hot take. That's a fact. What you just <laughs> <laughs> if they leveled up the sauces, like I did, I will say I had the sandwich, and honestly, I feel like the sandwich is better than mm-hmm. the tendies. Um, I think because there's more going on in there, mm-hmm. but the fries are soggy. That's also tea. Yeah, that is. True. And then they only have one size. I hate that because <laughs> fries are the most part of every meal. I feel you. So there's not enough fries. No, <laughs> they're like we only have one size, and we'll. Okay, I'm leaving. I have nothing else to add. <laughs> you know what's so funny is I used to tell the way I that Billy feels about Canes is how I felt about Carl's Jr. <sighs> I love Carl's Jr. I, I, listen, Garbage. something about Carl's like she just knows how to do it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> she, <laughs> one thing about Carl's, she's gonna do it right. She's gonna do it right. Like she can only <laughs> do one thing and she does it well. Yeah, and that's okay. There you go. That's um, how I feel about Canes. But Carl's has been around longer. It's also called Hardee's on the East Coast. I saw someone saying, what the fuck is Carl's Jr.? Is it really? They yeah, it Hardee's. Yeah, yeah, it's Hardee's. When I trekked back from New York and we stopped in Indiana, we went to Hardee's and they don't have Beyond Meat there. They're like, we don't do that here. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. That's a West Coast thing, probably. Yeah. Not in the South. Yeah. <laughs> no, when no, I no. went to Alabama by myself and I was there, the only restaurant close by that I was like willing to drive to was um, Hardee's. So I, I like ate there like every day for like three <laughs> days. Cause that's, I was the only place I was willing to go by myself. Yeah. You know. There by yourself as a Brown woman. Yeah. And also like, oh, yeah. it just looked like what hits over there? Like <laughs> twisters. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that? Like, just, like natural in, disasters. In, where, oh, where's, okay. I thought that was a restaurant. So I was like, wait, <laughs> clarify. <laughs> We're just making up shit. Alabama, mm-hmm. it wears Tuscaloosa, right? Yeah. It's in Tuscaloosa, yeah. yeah. So, like, there ain't shit in Tuscaloosa. Like, it's literally, like, one little strip of all the restaurants and shit by the school, and then there's just flat land for that. fucking miles. Yeah, that's yeah. scary. That's why I said it looks like a Twister's coming. That's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so I was too scared to Trouble drive anywhere. And shit. Yeah, because yeah, I flew into Birmingham, and then I drove to Tuscaloosa by myself. Like, I rented a car, and I drove by myself. You're there. crazy, girl. Wow. A crazy girl. I was only like 20 when I did that too. That's I was going to say that Halls, they also said that Cheesecake Factory is overrated and bland. I just wanted to make sure everyone knew I wasn't alone in that. Okay. Well, we ganged up on Days, then we ganged up on Billy. Well, I guess we'll see if anyone I ganged up wait. on me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. can't wait. Okay, this one's from Rachel. She said that the Burger King needs to be deported back to England <laughs> out of here with those nasty burgers. Burger King's so good. Are they from, I, is, is that native to England? I, I don't know. know. Maybe because there's a king. That would make sense. <laughs> What's the lore behind you Burger being King? like? It's obviously a monarchy, so that must sorry. be. <laughs> Let's dive into the, the, be, yeah. <laughs> the politics King, of Burger King. Is yeah. Burger King an oligarchy? That's probably why. Burger King is trash. That's what it is. I haven't had Burger King in a while. I heard they leveled it up. So like, who'd you hear that from? The internet. <laughs> I read an article. I saw TikTok. Yeah, 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 yeah. TikTok <laughs> dot com. There you go. No, uh, they've added like new shit and stuff. So, oh no, that's true. That's, I had their chicken sandwich. Okay, yeah. it was it was kind of crazy. Yeah. Look at him flip flopping. Because the bread I is kind of long. It's like it. one of those long like breads. I've it's had not like a burger. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, no. They, you know how like Popeyes they had that like big fucking craze and like over the chicken sandwich. Yeah, they did like something similar. Dude, King. Billy, Ooh. when that chicken sandwich came out of Popeyes, Ooh. Billy made it a mission to try the chicken sandwich at like every fast food place. So he tried it there just to make sure. Yeah. Burger King. It held he, up. He like it went and the tried them at far. all of them. Wait, which one's the best? Burger King? Popeyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still still top. I saw this guy. He said that there used to be a sandwich at KFC where it was two pieces of fried chicken without like bones in it and then like condiments and pickles were on the I side. had that. Was it good? Yeah. It, <laughs> it looked really so, good. It was one of the most ridiculous. Like it, it was like falling out of the yeah. wrapper. Shit was so good. Damn. Damn. That was like super old though. Yeah. Super old, yeah. They were talking about food they missed that got discontinued, and he said his was yeah, that. Yeah. Was like, that <laughs> That's is funny. Damn. <laughs> That's so what, funny. A, what a niche sandwich. Yeah, thing. he was the only one in the <laughs> video so that said that, too. <laughs> there, um, I had the, when I was in college, I ate at Burger King a few times. 
in Hawaii, and I had those chicken fries, and those are fucking flames. Uh, those never yeah. did it for me. They're good. They're yeah. fucking good. I, what I, you know, I feel like there's not very many fast food places that I'm I would scoff at. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's well, because I I feel like with fast food places, like I know why I'm going. Like I'm not. Yeah, I'm not like expecting, you know what to expect. Yeah, yeah. Like I I don't like Burger King, but if it's like the only, okay, like sure. Well, yeah. that's also like. When we went on a trip recently, um, we ate at a lot of places <laughs> that were like fancy schmancy. They were French. And they were French, which like all peace, all love, but like, why is your food so trash, first of all? And second of all, why is it so small? Like except the except their patisserie stuff. It's okay. Uh, y'all the know French how to make do it that well. y'all know how to make it sweet, bitch. Yeah. But like every yeah. every meal I got was like it was so small and it just didn't taste it it tasted very bland. And then we we like Went off on our own and like went wandering, and then we came. We went to like a, a dumpling place. dumpling place Ooh. that had like ramen and so dim sum yeah, and all that. So good! Oh my god, it was so good! And I was like, I feel like I'm eating real food. For yeah, the first I feel time like you're eating like holographic food the rest of the days. Yeah. Literally, yeah. literally. That's why we, oh me, you and I were just talking about this. Speaking of holographic food, um, with Jared, but we were talking about, about five guys. Uh, no, about Panda. Oh, Panda yeah, yeah, Express. Yeah. So, like, we love... Okay, Damn. Panda Express is fire. Like, I like it. But I was telling him, I feel like I eat it and I just feel nothing. Like, yeah. I, feel, I didn't get full at all. Where did it go? I don't fucking know. That's like, fair. It's but, so good, though. But my throat feels greasy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Every yeah. time I eat there. My chest feels like I just ate a bunch of sodium. But, like, <laughs> at the same time, my stomach is not full. Yeah. And I don't like that. Mm -hmm. And then I, I was telling Jared that, and he goes... I don't know. And I was like, I feel like I was eating like holographic meatloaf, like, like in SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Yeah. 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 That's how I felt like I was It's eating. true. <laughs> Do you guys have any favorite restaurants that are only in the IE? Because we got a lot of IE ones. Which are Burger Basket, right? easily. Yeah. So? Easily. <clears throat> Burger Basket, dude. Burger Basket's pretty nuts. Something about And then what's the other one that uh, that rivals it? Lucky Greek? Yeah, I don't fuck with that place. Bro, Lucky Greek is crazy. Too. I don't like Lucky. It's okay. Greek. It's good. I think it's because I think it's because I, I got food poisoning from there once, and now I like can't eat it anymore. Yeah. But I just don't think their breakfast burritos don't even compare. Oh, I no, never had not them that. There. But if you're talking about other foods, they yeah. do. I haven't tried this plates. I haven't tried their good. other plates. If yeah. I'm being fair, I'm there for the burritos. There you go. To be honest. I don't really like. Okay, one thing about Billy, he's gonna eat a breakfast burrito. Yeah, yeah every time. I don't Donnie really too. <laughs> I don't really care for them, but Burger Basket. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Something about those breakfast burritos. Combo too. breakfast burrito. You get all the meats. Yeah. I just like the Crazy. bacon one because I don't like is sausage. Is it the same? Mommy said it's the same as Yellow Basket. Do you think it is? No, I've never I eaten don't. at a Yellow Basket. I've eaten at Yellow Basket. I don't agree. I think they're all the same. I if we're, if but, we're but real, But Yellow like... Basket, I only had lunch at, so maybe that's why. Yeah. But I, I haven't had a breakfast burrito from there. I have to eat one from each. To just, to <laughs> like I did with the chicken sandwich? <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, yeah like what yeah. you did with I have the... to judge it <laughs> fairly. To yeah. give it a fair chance, I got to try them all. I agree. I also um, had my very first panic attack at a yellow basket. No, that was... No, uh, that was at the hat. No, that was, that at, was at the, the hat. hat. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, because you were there. <laughs> no, you know, that's why it's funny. It was no, you yeah. and Donnie. <laughs> I, he had no idea. He's I had like, my oh. very first panic attack <laughs> <laughs> at a hat. Why what, the fuck did I have that there? What a ridiculous fucking place to have. Bro, the hat goes crazy, too. That's, crazy. that's not I an IE special, though. They have them in Orange County, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's one of no, an IE special burger basket. Lucky Greek. Someone wrote Miguel's. I think Miguel's is an IE. Thing. Uh, it is. Miguel's. I like yeah. Miguel's. Miguel's. I like cool. Miguel's. The restaurant senior. More. That's what senior. someone called it. That to me. <laughs> That's what he calls it. That's what it's called. <laughs> someone called that to me though. It said it like that's me. And I thought she was joking. Miguel's yeah. is Miguel's is really good. And Miguel's Jr. Uh, I will say though that Billy. What do you um, get from Miguel's? Because I love when people are like people message me and going, "I'm visiting California. What should I get at Island?" <laughs> whatever, whatever you like. <laughs> Toys Islands. We're always recommending yeah. Islands. The way I'm doing marketing for them. I know. Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, from and Miguel's. Red Robin. <laughs> yeah, red Robin. Yeah. Ooh, Red Robin is so good. I don't think I'll ever get tired of eating there. So red I'm Robin or Islands? Islands. Dang, really? Islands, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I go for Red sure. Robin. The onion rings are what do it for me. Sure, but when you're at Islands, you're Um, What was I going to say? Oh, you said what was our order at? Um, Miguel's. Miguel's. Uh, before I say my order, I will say Billy wants to burn that BRC burrito to the ground. No, that's what I get. No cheese. I, up. I cannot. I cannot understand why you go. <laughs> why you would go through the trouble of making this beautiful burrito With and no not meat? put any meat in it? That's crazy to me. No protein. That's, I'm out. That's wild. 
That's him. <laughs> yeah. One time I got it, I ordered it on DoorDash, and then I had to pick all the meat out of it because they didn't listen to me when I said Damn. no meat. <laughs> sorry, order- I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> My order is, um, I used to get the fajitas. What? Because wait, we're no, talking about Miguel Senior. Oh, Miguel Senior's senior. restaurant. Okay. Yeah, because you guys, if you're not Kay. from the IE, I'm like, who the fuck orders fajitas yeah, through a drive-through? Yeah, yeah. You no, sicko? I would never do so that. So there's Miguel's Junior, which is the fast food version of it, or yes. quick service, as that one girl said on tour. <laughs> Chipotle. Chipotle, yeah. <laughs> Did Chipotle's also I one of my favorite restaurants? If someone recorded illegally, please send it to me so I can rewatch that part. Huh. <laughs> to us reacting to Please it. send it to me so I can watch that it was part a again. Quick service restaurant. Anyway, so Miguel's Jr. is the the fast food drive through one, and Miguel's Sr. is the restaurant sit down. Yes. With yes. like menus and like waiters and waitresses. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would get that only because I wanted the flour tortillas and they're just Crazy. so good. Oh my God. Yeah. And, um, but like, I would say order for both restaurants. I get like enchiladas. Yeah. I can't go wrong like, there. Enchiladas. The cheese ones though. You don't get any meat in them, huh? Or do you get chicken? No, I get like a beef. A, sh- a shredded beef. Yeah, shredded beef. Okay. Enchiladas. Or I get a two taco combo. She should get cheese. Most I think the cheese ones are better. Most of the opinion. beef winds up to the side. That's not true. I don't know. When I eat an enchilada, I'll eat everything. You eat the whole enchilada. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> what, do you, what do you get, Philly, from Miguel's senior? Uh, yeah. Um, the carnitas plate because okay. the tortillas are crazy. Yeah. Like you could put any meat on that on that fucking plate and I'd it be happy with the tortillas. Good. Oh my yeah. god, the tortillas. Yeah. I always am like Ooh, the flautas are pretty good too. Yeah, yeah. their flautas are really yeah. good. And taquitos, those are pretty yeah. good too. Dude, the fucking the tortillas my only small grievance miguel's if you're mr miguel if you're watching senor is, senor, <laughs> senor yeah. miguel if you're watching is to put more in there why are you giving me three i want That's 300 <laughs> i want 30 <laughs> That's what they I are want. cool with the refills so they are but like i then like she's embarrassed because she yeah, has it's, embar- it's embarrassing <laughs> like like i ate i ate two of them with no meat like i was just eating them like a like a <laughs> Like, like in a moose bush, so I a would really, boosh. I would really uh, appreciate if you could save me the humiliation of having to ask five times. Yeah. Like every time, can, and can I get some more tortillas, please? As you ask so for your like, other diet coke. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that I don't care about. That's fair. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get two sodies at the table. You know what's funny <laughs> is when I was in college, dude. Where was I saying this? Oh my gosh, when I was having a meeting. I was talking about things I like wouldn't do when I was still within the male gaze. Sure. And I don't know if this is tied to it, but I was just like, was it not drink water? No, it was to drink water Uh, because I really, I like water. But when I was 18, like, I'm like, I'm going to drink fucking soda. I don't care. (laughs) And then I got a bunch of friends who didn't drink soda. They only drank water. I was the same way in college. Same way. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I felt like those are the only times I've succumbed to peer pressure. Sure. Because I saw everyone orders water, and then I'm the only dipshit that orders soda. <laughs> I didn't want it to be the only person. <laughs> it's not a safe space. Billy right? can't relate to that because he literally only drinks water. Yeah, I just feel like carbonated things. They're like spicy without being spicy. <laughs> like it, like it almost hurts at yeah. times, and I just don't want that. That's what I love. The I rush, love the kick of it. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like. Stop. <laughs> you guys like Mojo's too. That's another IE special. Ooh. Mojo's, dang. Dude, Mojo's. Talk about ice cream in a cup. That place 5, is nice. <laughs> that place is wild, 5, dude. 5,000 cows a drink. Easily. Fuck it. Worth it. Fuck it. I'm eating it for breakfast. With a blueberry awesome. muffin on the side. <laughs> is, that, is that only here? Yeah. yeah. It's just no, that little shit. guy. Okay. It's those little um, huts. It's those little, like, yeah, like huts. It's one one or two teenage college like, girls. Like Dutch Bros. If you're from. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. Dutch Bros. If you're from the PNW. Yeah. They Northern. have them in, like, Arizona and Northern California, oh, too. Oh, really? I, guess. I, know yeah. they have them, I know they have them in Northern California. Yeah. But I didn't know about it. All right, friends, we're going to take a quick little ad break with our friends at Babbel. So for most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. I personally and Drew, we both learned Spanish in high school, but when I got to college, I took more Spanish classes and Drew got to learn a Samoan language. But now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized 
memorize language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world. So for me personally, I'm going to be continuing learning Spanish so I can become proficient at it. I feel like I'm conversational, but I want to be able to speak a lot faster because I feel like I can understand it better than I can speak it. And I want to be able to communicate with people when I visit countries that their native language is Spanish. I want to be able to communicate with the people there in their native language. So Babbel has 15 minute lessons that make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. So right now, you can get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash two idiot girls. That's babbel.com slash two idiot girls for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Now back to the episode. This one, Tierra, or Tiara, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. She said, five guys is mid at best. The burgers are average. The fries are saving grace, but not worth waiting ages for mediocrity. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, what are your thoughts, man? I disagree. Okay. I think five guys is cool. I, I wouldn't say like, I'm not going to go out on a limb for it. Yeah. But it's, it's not bad. I will give you this. Five guys is fucking expensive. Yeah. It really is. For it to just be a fucking hamburger. For just a hamburger and fries. I will say they give yeah. you two billion fries. So like, I guess Arguably that kind too of- much. Yeah, way too much. Well, I, I guess can't believe kinda... they don't have any vegan options. That's always oh, no when, when your whole thing is hamburgers. That's the easiest thing. You that's just true. buy the Impo- vegan meat. Yeah, the impossible meat. Yeah, so I never that get to eat true. there. I've never I thought really about that. the fries. You're not missing a ton. Yeah, I it's mean, like it's one of normal, those like yeah. normal SpongeBob food. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it's um, it's very like you have to be in the mood for it. Yeah, like yeah, it's not easily. something I'd be like. You know what sounds good? Five guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not Yeah, really, you're not really true. craving it. Yeah. But yeah. when you're in the mood for it, it hits. Yeah. But I feel that. then it then you just it feels so like um overwhelming when you get the food because there's just so many fries <laughs> yeah. in there. No, f- literally. Yeah. Okay, this one's from Jamie. She said that Benny Hanna's is overrated. I've never been there. Have I you? have been to Benny Hanna, actually. Have you? I, yeah, I, I think I'm going for the show. You're going for the experience. Yeah. 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 You know, it's so funny. What's the one we went to in Fullerton? I always call it Munch. Ooh, is that what chomp, it's called? Chomp. chomp. What, why the fuck? <laughs> chomp Skipping is Munch. I'm definitely a Munch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely a Munch. <laughs> That's one of my favorite TikToks. Who saw that TikTok? <laughs> uh, <laughs> name the TikTok. Stupid. I'm definitely a Munch. Um, Benny Hunt is cool. Yeah, it's real standard. I feel like, like you guys said, it's for the it's for the show. Yeah, I will say this though, <laughs> me and Billy were um, <laughs> we were going somewhere the other day. This was like a week ago. And, we were going um, to Disneyland. That's right. We yeah. were going to Disneyland, and um, we were we may or may not have been partaking in the devil's lettuce, and when we were not. just we were down there. We were vibing, and we were like, why don't we go to Benihana? I was like, that food sounds fire. Oh, yeah. It was one right there on Ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we were like, why don't we go to Benny Hanna? And then we were Dude, like, that Maybe. restaurant corner is crazy. Isn't there like an In-N-Out and a Starbucks? All and then of- right <laughs> next to each other. Nuts, and yeah. across the street, a McDonald's. Yeah. And across from that, it's like a Burger King. That's crazy, yeah. 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 And then there's a Benny on it. So we were like, maybe we should go there. That sounds good. And we we're like, yeah, 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 maybe. And then we didn't end up going. And we <laughs> we were like, when we were at Disneyland, we were talking about it. And I was like. Honestly, like a big a big part of it was the social interaction. Yeah, oh, like, 100%. I just, and I told him like if he tells me to catch a shrimp in my pocket, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> like, I can't do it. I'll do I it right just, here on this little frying table. Take yeah. that cleaver and just put it in the back of my neck. Why don't you? I'm gonna put my head down on the. Table. I'd rather you do that than make me catch the shrimp in my mouth. Like, I know. You know they throw it. There's too much. There's too much. That's you know like, I mean? that's yeah. I want to be able to have the food and not have to ha- watch the show if I don't want to. I, I want to watch the show from afar. Yeah. 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 Like, I, I don't want to be part yeah, of the show. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, I, it doesn't need to be interactive. Like, I yeah. can be present. It just doesn't need to be interactive. Yeah. No. You know well, we I mean? did Chomp, which is essentially the same thing as Benny Hanna. It has yeah. the tap and grill and stuff. Yeah. That one was fun because it was all of us around the thing. Yeah. There's no like grandmas and grandpas sitting next to me that I don't yeah. know. That, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you have like random sitting next to you, too. No, it's such a dice roll, too, because sometimes you get the family who's like really into it yeah. and then they pull everybody else everyone in. has to nightmare. also be part of the yeah, show and you're like nightmare. we have to be united front we don't we, no i'm saying in the sense of like bare minimum oh energy. yeah yeah 100 but if one falls then the the wall is compromised yeah, you know you what i'm saying like yes. you yeah. have one soldier who goes to the other side then you have no choice i agree but True. also like it's just now that i think about russians like that like I don't know. It just doesn't. It doesn't hit anymore because of COVID. I just, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're you have people next to you breathing on your food and mm-hmm. you're sharing food and it's just with yeah. strangers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like 
It's just not. I'm the just same. cool if my dinner doesn't have pageantry. Like I'm, I'm, I'm okay to just. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I'm cool yeah. with it. That's why I said I want the I want the food and I want the experience to be optional. Yeah, yeah you know what I mean. That's fair. <laughs> Can you give me the option. Like they have like a little fucking switch. A sign. Goes up. <laughs> like you roll it up like a yeah, little. Yeah. Like it's a partition. Yeah. yeah. I just say like in Ubers where you're like, do you want to talk? And you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to flip my sign up if you don't talk to me. You just know, make my fucking food. Oh my god, you know what I want to eat so bad, or where I want to go so bad. You know how like in um Korea or in um Japan they have those like solo oh, like yeah. ramen bars yeah. where you have like literal partitions you could just open them and then no one will talk to you. Yeah, yeah. I watch those all the time. <laughs> me too. I really do. Like, people in Korea all like, the time. Yeah. They're like, come with me, spend a day with me in Korea. Yeah. I'm logged in, bitch. I'll watch if you the whole have thing. one viewer, it's me. me. I feel that. Okay, this next one's Annabelle. She said the absolute best appetizer to get at any restaurant is fried calamari. Oh, Annabelle. <laughs> Did that, Billy write that? From that's his not burner? even, that's the, the least hot take in here. That's <laughs> just what you really agree so with. Real. I feel so that. real. One thing about Billy, he's going to order calamari. Every time. Every, no, no matter, matter where we're where going. Where we go. Yeah. We could be at Naples or we could be at a French restaurant in New York. And he's like, I'll take the calamari. <laughs> because how do you mess that up? <laughs> you don't. Where did we go? And they had it and it was really good. Vegas. We're in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, we really? got some in, in Vegas at that. Um, we went. To, it was like Hakkasan. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I thought you liked the one in um, at the fancy French restaurant that we ate at in the hotel in New York. Wasn't that one the one that was like crazy? It was good. It wasn't like I crazy. think they're all good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't discriminate. I like yeah. them all. <laughs> I'll take them all. They're all fucking great. Big yeah. fan. Take the lot. Yeah. Well Billy, done, Annabelle. Billy loves calamari. If there's one that on the menu, he loves a good app. Yeah. Appetizer. Yeah. Appetizer. I love appetizer. Me too. Firm yeah, in so I I'm always like, do you want to get calamari? He goes, Yeah. It, it always kind of bums me out when people don't order apps and I really want one. Yeah. And that happened again, to me the other day. It was so embarrassing. I was like, I don't give a fuck if I order it. <laughs> Good for See, you. See, I'm all don't touch it. You said you didn't want one. <laughs> well, no, you said you didn't want one. So yeah, we went we went to a restaurant uh in New York, like just the three of us, because mm -hmm. Adam didn't want to come. He was like, I'm going to hang out in the room. And I was like, okay, cool. So we went to the restaurant and <laughs> we got like Brussels sprouts. We were just getting apps because we were going out to dinner. Those Brussels sprouts were crazy. crazy. Remember Where the ones? That? They were at that little. Um, it was like a bar. Remember like we wanted bar. to eat and they were like, the restaurant's not open yet. And we were yeah, like, remember? Because we were going to go to I dinner. Don't, like, you sure ordered a hamburger. <laughs> we ordered <laughs> appetizers. <but yeah. laughs> I'm sure it was good. That? No. It was uh, like a Super Bowl special or some shit. Yeah, remember Damn. remember the waitress oh, asked yeah, us? Yeah, I remember yeah. That. So when we went there, we got Brussels sprouts. Jason goes, um, oh, yeah, those sound good. When she gets that, she ordered Brussels sprouts. And I go, yeah, those sound good. And she goes, yeah, but those ones are mine. I'm like, I know. I don't want to share. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm starving. I was like, I know, dude. I was gonna. I was just musing over the. I was trying to vibe <laughs> with you. And they were crazy. We were That's right. I was like, yeah. I was trying to vibe with you. I wasn't trying to encroach on your order. Anyways. I didn't touch those. <laughs> They're good. Fucking Brussels sprouts are so flame. This one's anonymous. Uh, she said, I really don't like when restaurants have quirky names for their food. <laughs> and, and they put, I'm not ordering the bus it down for a real one brat worse. Please be serious. I'm gonna point to the menu and hope the waiter can read it. That's that's like an extreme example, but even like clucks and fries. Like I yeah, don't want to say from clucks Red Robin, and fries. Who knows? I know. Yeah, Red Robin. Clucks special. one of those fries. things, I guess. No, Dason. Dason will say the silly name, and I don't know how she does that. No, I don't. Yes, Dason. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you've ordered, like Clux, what? Clux and fries, bitch. Remember, I went to Red you Robin. You could literally be like, I'll have the chicken tender meal. Yeah. But you, every single time, you would go, I'll when I ate me, and I don't she goes, me and I'll take the Clux and fries. <laughs> so she's like, no, I don't. <laughs> That's How true. I have heard the you name say of that. It? Do you remember that TikTok of um, the girl on vacation? She was like, this is the last time I'm ever recording myself. Oh, yeah. Can I and have a Bahama was, Mama? Yeah, she was ordering a drink with a silly name. So she was like, can I? She's recording herself for like a vlog, right? So she like set it up. <laughs> and then she's like, can I have a Bahama Mama, please? And then the guy goes, what? And then she goes, a Bahama Mama? <laughs> she like, said it like, like five times. And then she was like, the one, it's like the second one. And he goes, oh, Bahama Mama? She goes, yeah. He goes, okay. And then, and then she went... And she like took off her phone and she was like, this is the last time I've ever recorded That's fucking funny. <laughs> it's almost like the way that you said it three times is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
the first time he doesn't hear remote that one right yeah, there. Same, yeah, same dude. Same. Easily. The orange one? Yeah, if they said like bust it down for a bratwurst, I'd literally be like, Can I have the bratwurst? Yeah. That's what, what were I'm you saying. guys trying to order in Vegas? Or what were those drinks called that you guys kept trying to order? Hurricane. Oh. I asked the second. Oh no, it's the first guy. We went, so we go to the bar, and I, I was ordering for everybody. That's a real drink. I've had it at Disneyland. Own, they exist. According to you guys, no, I go he, up to. The other guy made one. I know, but I don't think it, that's what it was called. Either way, I go up to the first guy, and I'm like, "Yeah, can I have whatever beer I got?" And then two hurricanes, and he looks at me, and like just squints his eyes, doesn't say anything, like doesn't correct me, and so I say it again, like two hurricanes, like is that a thing? And he's like. Yeah, no, but I'll, I'll make something close. Like, real dick about it, but... I, also, clearly you know what it is, because you said, <laughs> I'll make it. Cl I'll make a close one. Just I say just, you don't want to make it. I think two is my threshold. I'll mm -hmm. say it twice. That's it. Yeah, no, it was like our brother, once. he used to get, like, a 4 by 4 from uh, In-N-Out. I don't know if we've told this story. And our yeah. uncle took him through the drive-thru, and Don he asked Donnie, like, okay, what do you want? He's like, oh, a quad. He goes, <laughs> okay. So he's ordering, he's like, oh, and then I'll take this, this, and then I'll get a quad. And she's like, a what? And he was like, a quad. <laughs> she's going, mm, I don't know that one. And he looks at Darwin and he goes, is that what it's called? And then he goes, well, that's what I think they should call it. But oh, I also think they God. call it a four by four. <laughs> that would enrage me. I know. Yeah. My papa was like, I wanted to make him get out of the car lane. No, of he, it. he's like, I wanted to just drive my car over the, the edge because it's on like a raised platform. He's like, I wanted to crash oh, it down there and into get the out. gas station. Yeah. He's like, I wanted to get out and run away. Onto the freeway on her up right yeah. there. Dude. So funny, dude. Yeah. A silly name. I'm not saying it. I'm so sorry, but I, I refuse. What's funny is um, whenever we, especially when we travel, we always make Billy order <laughs> wherever we go. So yeah. that's why yeah. I like the hurricane thing. Um, first of all, that is a drink. Bartenders back me up. But second of all, like he, he was like, that is not what that drink is called. <laughs> when he came I was back. so upset because I had to say it twice. And the guy was such a jerk. I was like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, dude. And it's like, loud the, too. And, yeah. well, and at a bar, you gotta yell. Yeah. But then, yeah, two hurricanes. <laughs> and the guy's like, "Yeah, dude, I, I don't know what that is." Y'all watched Dayson's. If you haven't already, go on Dayson's TikTok because she makes. She has a series called uh, oh, "The Day in the Life of a Nepo." Maybe. Great series. <laughs> and she did one from Vegas, and and a lot of people were commenting. They were like, "The fact that Drew was like, and Grandpa put sixteen <laughs> shots in my drink because that's the dickhead who didn't know how to make a hurricane." But then he gave me like orange juice and like some vermouth yeah. like, the, the, like the most random fucking <laughs> like liquor he could find the strong bitters yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the strongest <laughs> fucking spirit you've ever tasted and, which is why I was so fucking drunk when I went to yeah. Din Tai Fung because that one drink KO'd me did you drink an espresso martini from the first one like me or no no oh. I had that drink oh yeah, yeah you're right you're right you're right, 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 like, right, right, right. cause uh when I I ordered a hurricane but then Dason goes is that you forgot this part but she said is that the name of the drink i go yeah and she goes just in case it's not just get me an espresso martini because <laughs> she didn't want to commit to it in the case. Yeah. so you only ordered one hurricane and it was from me that was one too many but me but me okay this one's from katana they said with peace and love the chipotle queso is bad Ooh. i told drew at the tour show it comes in a bag but what i didn't say is that it's prepared by boiling it while it's in the bag then they dump it into a pan. Listen, I don't care is this the if quick it's service scraped. Girl? I think this is the quick service girl. I don't care if it's scraped off the tiles in the back. I'm eating it. I don't give a shit. Yeah. That's just like when they said, did you know those those nuggets from McDonald's are made out of pink, pink slime? Yeah. I okay. don't give a damn, bitch. I don't fucking care. Drop the green curtain. I'll watch you make it. I'm not still going to eat it. I don't give a fuck. That's real. Chipotle queso is so good. And Jason can back me up on that. It is good. But I, I order the guacamole instead, obviously. I, think, I don't like guac. I think you're the only one that feels that strongly about the queso, but I'm not a big fan. Well, I also have a hyperfixation problem because of my mental illness. Okay. Well, <laughs> so, well next next well, one. Well, that's another reason why I love this so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like hyperfixated on it. Um, but it, it is fire. It's flames. I, don't, I just like I'm never swayed when people are like, Oh, well, I used to work there and I saw how it was made. Just like that girl who got fired from Panera Bread because she showed how they make that mac and cheese. Oh, <gasps> Which it yeah. comes in a bag. It comes right? in a bag and they boil it. It's the same shit. I feel like we all knew that. I'm like, well, it's not handmade. You think they're back there making the noodles? Those kids who are still in high school? No way. Yeah. A candy cookie, though? 
Mm. I'm gonna get it. A kitchen there. sink cookie. Ooh, the kitchen sink is crazy. Those are crazy. Candy cookie. I'm I was gonna say, it. speaking of Panera good. Bread, that one's in here a lot. What are they saying? It's trash. Yeah, so- I feel it. Sophia okay. says Panera tastes like hospital food. <laughs> That's I've seen that. that's not that's Too not far, far off. off. Yeah, yeah. you that. know what's a better alternative? Corner, Corner bakery. bakery. Corner bakery. You guys put me on that one. Crazy. Corner yeah. bakery is crazy, and their pastries go nuts. Yeah. Way mm. different than it's way better than Panera Bread. I feel that. But uh, Corner Bakery has a cavatappi pesto pots pasta. Pasta. Get into it, bitch. I agree. It's so good. All of their food is so good. Honestly, how do you guys feel about In and Out? I love In and Out. Same. I think it's such a classic, and it's yeah. it's really cheap too. I always forget that. Yeah, yeah. It's like super affordable. Yeah. yeah. Same thing I said about Carl's Miss Carl's Jr. She can only do one thing, but she does it well. She does it well. <laughs> Canes is to chicken fingers what In and Out is to burgers. To that's me. so incorrect. Wrong. Real that's, simple. That's wrong. but so good. That's so wrong, but yeah. it's okay. <laughs> that's everyone's, okay. Everyone's entitled to their opinions, even if they're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What was I gonna say? Um, who do you think has the best French fries? Dang, drive through or, or sit down? We talked about. Wait, we, well, we said Islands is the best sit down restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. But drive through, I would probably I say I like the curly fries from Jack in the Box. I think those are those are okay. so flames, but you have to eat them with Jack in the Box food. You know what I'm that's, saying? That's when fair. you eat them on their own, because obviously I can't eat anything there because I've DoorDash them. They taste so gross just by themselves. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like I you have to, to eat pair it. it with a taco. Yeah, three tacos that I'm eating. Dude, the fries. way that people were like, "Do you know what they put in those mystery?" I don't care. Uh, I don't care if your mom's hair is in there. I'm fucking eating it. But I will say, for a fast food French fry, honestly. McDonald's makes fire fries, but you have to eat them when they're hot. Yeah. As soon as they get cold, they're not that they're good. garbage. Yeah. But they're so good when yeah. they're hot. I still don't love Carl's, but their their crinkle cut fries are pretty pretty solid. They're good. Ooh, the waffle fries. That's yeah. what they are. That's they're what they are. good, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they only put four in there. I know, and they only That's, do it, and yeah. they only do a medium. They don't do a large. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> I have but checked. it looks like it's a whole I've potato. <laughs> Yeah, no. And some of them are still part potato. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, it's it's like, like round. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've asked. I've asked. I'm on, okay, don't bother doing that, dude. Carl's. There is something so euphoric and like synergetic about no, a Carl's stop. Jr. Carl's <laughs> Jr. burger and their fry paired together, bitch. And she gets the plain, like the famous star, like regular guy, bitch. Together. I don't know what they're cooking up back there, but it's magic. It's the way they cook the hamburgers because they're charbroiled. They're not like fried. I know, but it's they just get, like They get the everything. real grill marks yeah, on there. Yeah, that's how it tastes good. Their onions on there and their lettuce and all this shit. All of it paired together with those fries, bitch. The only reason I don't get the waffle ones is because they only put four in there. Yeah. I need more fries. That's so. fair. I need more fries. So. That's why you get a, a large fry and then you get a side of Chris Cut fries. <laughs> <laughs> just to get the taste. That's your amuse bouche. It is, yeah. Amuse bouche. <laughs> and then you eat them last so they're already cold, but it's okay. Okay. A lot of people brought up KFC. What are your thoughts on American KFC? I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to eat no. it. What's non American KFC? They have well, other. Yeah. Things. So this person, I think it's Keiko. Mm-hmm. She said, I'm Japanese. KFC is huge in Japan, especially around Christmas time. Did they do something strange to the KFCs here in the US? It's like 10 times worse, and I can't explain except that it feels like I'm eating straight grease with a sprinkle of salt. When people talk about their white relatives making Thanksgiving dinner and it tasting like shit, I always imagine it's something like that. <laughs> That's funny. My stepfather's white and him and his family always want to eat from there. I have to wait until everyone in my house goes to sleep so I could door dash myself something else because that's how much I hate it. And he's a chef. Please help. Wow. Well, I've actually seen it's almost like McDonald's in other countries is like way better. Yeah. It's the same thing with KFC. They do like those, like they, and I've seen McDonald's, they'll do like the hamburgers and they'll put like, um, like Parmesan sticks or what are those things called? Oh, mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks yeah. in yeah, there. Yeah. It, like they're fried and everything. It looks so good. I've seen like but same ones with, with like Wagyu meat. Yeah. Like, yeah. like McDonald's. I would love to try that. Yeah. <laughs> they're all in like Japan. I would love or to try yeah. That. Like all in Asia, all, all over Asia, they have like their fast food is like leveled up yeah. times a million. It's I've, way better than ours. I've been seeing a lot of videos lately of people comparing like American grocery stores or mm-hmm. like yeah. uh, to, to like European or like and also how expensive it is to yeah, here it's versus crazy. there. Yeah. Um KFC, I just like 
Yeah, I'm, what I'm, KFC's, I I'm, I'm not someone a fan. who liked to eat there a lot, so I don't like to eat there anymore. Yeah, that was a monetary thing. <laughs> but, um, and there's so many other options that are cheaper yeah. than KFC. So I know. Unless it's that double down sandwich with two chicken with patties. Two chicken <laughs> patties. I don't want to hear top. about it. I know, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Popcorn chicken, sure. But if I'm going to go to a place with fried chicken, I'm going to Popeyes. Popcorn sure. chicken is is awful to me. It's Just make good. it a normal size nugget. It's good, but I'm saying like it's Why is passable. It so little? Yeah, I like, feel that. I'm just saying like if I'm picking fried chicken, like somewhere to eat fried chicken, I'm going to Popeyes. Sure, I'm not that's, going to KFC. That's fair. And Popeyes, like the way they season their shit is so much the better. The fries go yeah. crazy yeah, at Popeyes. Yeah, fries too. are so good. The Cajun seasoning, I like that. Yeah, yeah, the only thing I don't fuck with at Popeyes is their biscuits, and that's because you will die if you eat one. Because it's no. like eating packing peanuts. Like just, it's so thick and, that's and dry. That's saying a lot. That's fair. And she's always said that. And I'm, I'm a whore for biscuits. Yeah, so that's listen. true. If you made them like Pillsbury Grands, then it would be a different Those story. Are the worst. Pillsbury Grands? Yeah. Those are not the worst. I'd say Crescents are the best. I agree with that, yeah. actually. Yeah, you like eating two and then they're gone forever. <laughs> like, yeah, because I don't need to eat. Like this. I don't need you go like eat. this. Oh, that's it. I don't need to eat. <laughs> you know 24 yeah has, has everybody seen your uh video the tiktok i yeah. hope so they're like sure. what else would be in there i'm like i don't know would you think she would have biscuits in there also for those of you that thought that that was like a nod to me being pregnant you guys are weird well that's weird but also <laughs> that's you're weird but also that's bun in the oven not in the microwave grow up and grow also up. yuck no my biscuits are in there i just i just <laughs> Let's skip. Unless you open it, unless <laughs> Next you, one. Yeah. unless you open it and squids in there, then that's it. <laughs> then there's no bun in that fucking oven. Yuck! Don't be gross. Yeah. Okay, we got a lot of <clears throat> entries about chilies, <laughs> and we Good love chilies, right? Well, me and Drew do. Do you like chilies? Yeah, triple dip. Are you kidding me? The, okay, that's so funny you say that because Brianne right here, she said, "I love everything about chilies. The chips and salsa guacamole. Their chips are crazy. The yeah. tortilla chips. Yeah. She put triple dipper." Chocolate molten cake, amazing happy hour. I can go on and on about chilies. Fuck a fancy restaurant, take me to chilies. The happy hour goes crazy yeah. at chilies. You it's know real. who else has a great happy hour? Yard House. Yeah. That's, Yard that's House. Real. And has, they have great calamari. Yeah. <laughs> great calamari. Yard yeah. House, their happy hour goes crazy. Uh, and you know how I know? Because when I was in college and I was broke as hell, I would go to that happy hour and eat like a king because <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> and they have good, obviously, they have good drinks, but. Um, chilies. I love chilies. I fuck heavy with chilies. I think yeah. chilies has really come into its own as of late. I feel like <laughs> the public opinion has really shifted, and I think they're finally getting the justice that they deserve. Yeah, yeah. Opinion. Sometimes people try to compare it to Applebee's, and you're so wrong. How dare you? Applebee's is garbage. Yeah, yeah, it is. Let's get that out of the way. Wait, you didn't watch our episode. <laughs> <laughs> But we made a joke about Applebee's. Don't watch a lot of the episodes. Now. But we made a joke about Applebee's. <laughs> um, wait, I just thought of something funny when people were like, "Does Billy watch the episodes?" Not really. I listen to them through the door. That's why he he can hear it, and also like we're like this all the time. So it's like yeah. him just <laughs> one, him just watching us again. He's what? like, I've I, seen th it. I think one thing that's important for anybody that listens or watches is is to understand that what you're seeing and hearing right here is genuinely one hundred percent. How they are everywhere, <laughs> all the time. Unfortunately, it I does know. not end. We're mentally preparing for Coachella next month. Hopefully, ooh, we don't get in another ooh. fight in front of Billy. If I we do, it'll be do. business as usual. <laughs> it'll deepen our our bond. <laughs> it already has. That's why I posted that TikTok where she's like, "Nothing's more awkward than when you, your best friends are siblings and they start fighting in front of you." <laughs> and I posted it. And I was like, "This is so real. This is me and Dayson." And then I was like, "Just ask Billy. He's seen it thousands yeah. of times." I know. I told Dad Daddy we were fighting at Coachella, and he went, "All right, guys." <laughs> He's like, "Guys, come, come on. on." Because sometimes you know, I I feel like an outside perspective would help. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. yeah. So Billy's watched a sibling fight God, thousands of times. <laughs> it's part of it. It's just part of the deal. Part what? of a package yeah. deal. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about originally? Chilies. Oh Chilies. no, I'm gonna tell the joke, the joke oh, okay. that we made about Applebee's that you didn't you missed. Um, but I was talking about how I was like, unless it's a pancake breakfast, I'm not going to be at Applebee's. Yeah. You know how they always host pancake breakfast there? No. For Pee Wee football. I did not know that. You oh definitely went with us to one of Donovan's. I, went, we, I thought we went to like Graziano's, like the local We did do Graziano's too. too. Oh, that's an yeah. IE special too. Yeah. Graziano's. Not very good. It's yeah. overrated. 
It's just it reminds me pizza. of like it's like pizza by Alfredo or whatever. Yeah. That's what it reminds me. <laughs> Was it Alfredo's pizza or pizza by Alfredo? There is like a huge difference. Kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> No, I feel that. Well, that was a flop telling him that joke. What the fuck? Anyways. <laughs> per usual. Anyways. <laughs> Chili's. <laughs> we also have, I don't know why, but we used to fucking eat at Chili's all the time when we were like in high school. It's so good. Because it's, it's cheap, but it, it still feels like it's like. Yeah. Like you a, still get the restaurant Yeah, experience. you still get like the restaurant. Yeah, yeah it's fucking yeah, great. Yeah, because we would like, if we would go out with friends and stuff, we would always go to Chili's. <laughs> Chilies. Yeah, that was the place. That was the. Pl- it's good. I used to get the sliders. That's what I used to Ooh, always get there. Are, they come in the triple dip. Oh yeah, with some Is chicken that the tendies. Chicken tenders. Okay. Yeah. And the wings. I I think there's like the no. Dip? You get to choose whatever else you. Oh, want. I see. Yeah, I see. This one's from Alejandro. He said, "If my meal is a hundred dollars or more, I have the right as an American to take the sauce dishes home." <laughs> It sounds like you've already been doing it. <laughs> I feel sucks. like that was put in there for confirmation and I'm not Validation. Gonna, I'm not I'm not going to give him that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need those for? <laughs> What do you need? You said you said that take as all if you, the banchan dishes are clean barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. All those ramekins. Yeah, yeah. Those silver ram- <laughs> You're saying that as if you. I bet you do it even when it's not a hundred dollars. <laughs> I guarantee you it. Do what you got to do. I guess. Listen, fuck capitalism. Take them. Yeah. I'm just saying. What do you need that many for? I feel like you yeah. max need four, that's if fair. that. I agree. And that's like if you're feeling fancy. You know what I mean? Like like you make your own tendies at home and then you put your ketchup inside the thing. Like. Do you need to do that? No. no. I just don't want to put a dirty sauce dish in my pocket. I just feel like... <laughs> you lick it absolutely clean. <laughs> There's like, no way. Like the chocolate bar on Spongebob. And he's like... <laughs> oh, I was thinking when he's eating his ice cream. He's yeah. sticking it in the cone. <laughs> okay, we'll end on this one. This one's from Leslie. She said that Shake Shack on the West Coast is overrated. I mean, Shake Shack's the East Coast, but there are some here. Oh, yeah. Oh, she said on the West Coast, they're overrated. But on the East Coast, they're elite. It's all the same. Yeah. You, I've you've had tried both. both. What are your thoughts? I've had it on both ends of the country. They're the same. Any restaurant that makes me buy my fries separate. That's what I'm saying. Overrated. Shake Shack can eat a dick for <laughs> selling things a la carte. Like, what the fuck is your problem? Yeah. That's like, fair. And it's expensive. That's yeah. a like, hot take. The, the burger itself is like $12. Like, mm-hmm. you have that and then you have to get and they're $8. Little. They're like tiny. They're burgers. tiny. Yeah. Every time we go, we have to get two. Like, they're good. <laughs> they're good. But like. They're good. But again, it's a burger. Like, yeah. it's not. It, I will say the shakes at Shake Shack. At the Shake Shack? Gone. That's worth yeah. the money to me. I just, I don't think a burger should be able to fit in my palm. <laughs> I think it should be bigger than my palm. I agree. And if you shouldn't yeah. sell it a la carte. What the fuck is wrong yeah, with you? Yeah, In-N-Out doesn't do that. Yeah, Never. sell it as a combo, bitch. I That that alone makes me not want to eat there. You know what I mean? I will say, though. When and we they were, don't have any vegan options. Neither does In-N-Out. But yeah. Like, whatever, yeah. When we were in... Um, well, that's... Oh, no, that's true. I was going to say, don't they do a grilled cheese? But you don't want another you portobello mushroom cat burger? <laughs> I'm, no, I've had those in there. It's too much. But mm. um, no, and then it's like fried with par- like Parmesan inside it or something. Oh. Oh, which means there's eggs on the outside. That's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Um, what I was going to say is when we were in New York, like the three of us, we went to Gov Ball when I worked with Tinder last year. And um, the last one of the last nights we were there, um, we got trashed. And then the next morning we woke up hungover. Ugh. And then and we were like, Billy was so drunk. That was the night. I think we told you guys that Dayson was trash and Billy was drunk and I was drunk too. And we were going back to our hotel and Billy was like, I think I'm going to throw up. He texts that to me in the car. At least I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> and then I texted him and I said, do it when you get out of the car. <laughs> like, don't do that in this see, Uber. See, even in my drunk mind, I knew that that would freak Dayson out. So I was like, yeah, let me no, text No, you didn't because then no, we got I out did. of the car and then we went inside the hotel and Dayson was... <laughs> like doing that shit like she she literally talks to herself when she's drunk dude we smoked last time we were in new york i almost died <laughs> <laughs> wait hold on that's another story let me finish this they, they put something in there. <laughs> wait let me let me finish this new york story so then we get back to the hotel and Jason's like oh, by herself and i'm like this way like corralling her so we could go home so we go back to the hotel we get in the elevator Billy goes i think i'm gonna throw up i think i'm gonna throw up he said it like four times in the elevator and yeah. as soon as it's he probably said be funny it, as soon as he said it Jason was like 
<laughs> like her face went completely blank and her eyes got big. And then she was standing like nose to the fucking door waiting to get out because she got scared. And then I told him, I said, stop, you're scaring my sister. And then he stopped saying it. It was just the walls are mirrored, by the way. So then Billy's staring at himself in the mirror. <laughs> like squid. And, like squid. And then Jason's like this close to the door, like fucking forehead on it. Because she's waiting for it to open. As soon as it opens, she goes, okay, good night, bye. And she just walked out and went to her room. And I watched her go to her door. And then we got back in the elevator. I was like, you can't say things like that in front of my yeah. sister. And then he was like, mm. like, he just can't say words anymore. What do you want from me? And then he got back to the room. He's like, I think I'm going to throw up. I was like, if you just lay down and go to sleep, you'll be fine. And then he fell asleep face down, shoes and jacket and bags still on. I don't on remember this, so I don't know if you're embellishing, but. I'm not. And then you eat Shake Shack the next morning. Well, that's the point. That's yeah. true. So then yeah. the next morning we wake up, we're all hungover. It's horrible. And then uh, Billy feels so terrible. And I'm like, you need to eat. Like, that's going to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> so I ordered Shake Shack for us. And I made sure he's like, please get water. <laughs> right? like, I, need water. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I got waters. So I got water. And soda is actually really good when you're fucked up too. Like when you're hungover. Soda, uh, carbonation helps. So I got sodas too. And then I was like, I got both. And then he was like, please hand me the water. Like, he was like, water. Yeah. Like Spongebob. Yeah. I gave it to him. He took one drink and he almost fucking threw up all over the bed because it was sparkling water. And here's, I didn't know. here's my hot take. Sparkling water is garbage. <laughs> all of it is garbage. There's no Not reason. Not when your tummy hurts. There's though. no way. Sometimes when his tummy hurts, I'm like, you got to drink a Perrier. You know what's going to fix him. I'd rather gotta... suffer. 100%. That's not I'd true suffer. because he does do it. He'll drink like two swigs. I'll and like lap it up like a cat, like barely. Like... <laughs> no, he, he doesn't like, <laughs> like how I take pills. Like he just. Oh yeah, my God. Dude. Erica like... Titus posted a video of her yeah. taking a pill when she was little. That's how Drew takes medicine to. Literally me when. <laughs> Literally me when I'm sick. Uh, anyways, that what happened? That's one of our stories about Shake Shack. There you go. Yeah, so they have sparkling water that almost killed Billy. <laughs> I know for a fact I ordered flat. Yeah, yeah. I they gave us. They gave us. I think they fucked up the order because we would never order sparkling water like that. At mm -hmm. least I wouldn't for him. And so we ordered like four of them because I knew he was gonna down like two of them and he couldn't drink any of them. <laughs> Fucking devastating. <laughs> I know, and and that makes you feel sick too because it's like yeah. flavorless but carbonated. Yeah. yeah. Well, and when you're not expecting it either. And when yeah. you're hungover. Yeah. Fucking jump scare. Then we went to the airport yeah. and we sat in the airport hungover because well, we had the worst Uber driver. Yeah, that was like driving so crazy. Both of us, all three of us, got so sick. Mm -hmm. And we almost threw up outside the airport. I thought I was going to. I did too. Mm -hmm. And then we said. I was going to ask someone, well, can I have a cigarette? <laughs> Something has to quell this. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> and then we went and sat in the airport hungover. I mean, yeah, and we bought Advil. We bought Advil and that helped a little bit. And then we tried to force ourselves to eat, which worked too. But yeah. it was fucking miserable. Yeah. But so anyway. Thanks, Shake Shack. Yeah. The last time we went to New York recently, um, Dason almost died from smoking. Yeah. Which is so, she just couldn't stop coughing. Yeah. And then I fell off the curb. Yeah, then she tripped. tripped and ate shit. And I thought, and I literally thought she collapsed. Like, I thought she passed oh, out. Didn't we go to the dumplings right after that? Yeah. yeah. Then we went and ate dumplings yeah. and everything was fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I broke my foot for sure. Yeah. <laughs> when she went, yeah, when she was, she couldn't stop coughing. You know, when you're like, when you're in college, if they're smoking, you're like, if you ain't choking, you ain't token. That's how I, that's what I was joking about to Dason. And then. She almost died in the street. Yeah. I tripped and like threw my purse ahead of me and fell yeah. on all fours. It was ridiculous. This As I'm crossing the street in front of cars and I wanted to, like, I wanted to cry. She just wanted to stay there so they could run over her. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'll just lay right here. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But I was choking a lot too. It was really funny. Also, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all fun games till it's not. There's something in yeah. there. I think versions it could have been worse. of weed out there that. I don't know what y'all are putting in there. Yeah. <laughs> Your guys' gas is out of control. I don't know what's in it. Someone regulate that. It's real. <laughs> so maybe that's why it was illegal there for so long. Because <laughs> I don't in know New what York, you guys yeah. are cooking yeah, over there. The hybrid yeah. you guys have. I don't know I what's don't know in what. Them. And you're talking to a seasoned vet, bro. Yeah. And I still like, I feel like I hope That's the only time I feel like it's it's za. Yeah, <laughs> like, like here it's, here it's that's weed. That's where it but categorizes it's, it's, Yeah, that's where we, we cross over. No, yeah. for real. I, I sent you a tweet that said that like in New York, they call it like, we went to Granny Czar or whatever, yeah. Yeah. but here it's like the High Green Mile. Or yeah, the fuck. Like, here it's like it's like a kiss on the cheek. There it's a punch to the fucking throat, yeah. dude. Like it sends you into another universe. Kiss on the cheek. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here it's like on yeah. the forehead. Yeah. yeah, there it's like 
oh, right in the throat, bro. Yeah. Really not even I, in the face. I fall for it every time we go. I don't know what's <laughs> happening to me. Listen, I'm not saying I'm not going to smoke it. I'm just saying what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would like to know the We're same just thing. We're just talking. I'm just talking. curious. All right, friends, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Two Idiot Girls. Huge thank you to our first ever in-person guest, Peely Tani Vasa. Thank you for having me, Thanks for coming, guest. Thanks for coming. Hey, anytime. Next, we're going to work on getting Adam and the rest of the Alphala Cinematic Universe going in here. The rest of the crew. Yeah. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll probably do a part two to this, but it'll be Sans Peely. It'll just be me and Drew. More than likely. He's You'll getting never see me again. Yeah. That's enough of that. Turn his, turn his fucking mic off. <laughs> yeah, cut his fucking mic. <laughs> Since you want to be fucking dumb. But other than that, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, as always, you can stream all episodes everywhere. You can listen to podcasts and the video version is always on our YouTube channel. Woo-hoo. But other than that, we love you and we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>